Welcome to the channel viewers, you're with Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, we're on the hydrofoil with a rear view, I thought I'd do something different on the way in the other day to give you a different perspective of the skill involved with hydrofoiling and teaching at the same time, it's a little bit different to sitting behind the desk. Another thing too, these waters are shark infested, you just can't swim in there but we get out there amongst it and by the grace of God come in safe usually. <laughs> what I want to say to you is you need to have some areas in your life where your instincts are working for you. You really want your instincts to be alive in you, you don't want to numb out the adrenaline and the reward system that comes with that um, and these types of things can help you come out of alcohol and drugs because you can't be out there like this without being fully 100% alert of what's going on we're about to get some wind and we're up we're up on the hydrofoil looking from behind I really do hope that you've enjoyed the footage that I've shared with you from Gosford, New South Wales, Australia. You can see all the jelly blubbers behind um, and they do impact pretty hard under the water on the hydrofoil and I got knocked off the other day into a big school of them. I wasn't real thrilled with that. I got back on really quick. But we can't see what's going on behind us, you know, and Sometimes when we don't resolve things, the aggravations build up. We start to become despondent. We get resentment. And when we look behind us and you look at those jelly blubbers, you don't want to have all these areas of unresolved taking place being left there to come back and sting you later as you're navigating through you want to be fixing things as you go no matter how hard it is because the longer you leave things the more characteristically developed you come to accepting them and this can infiltrate your progress in life, personally, interrelationally, in your family. You don't want to find yourself in a situation where you've negotiated with yourself um, to such an extreme that you're starting to lose relationships that didn't need to be lost, to particularly intimate ones. When you get to my age, 57, going on 58, and I know I keep saying it, I can't change what's behind me now. All the love and people that have come into my life and gone again, like that channel marker, we can't go back. When Lot's wife looked back as they were escaping Sodom and Gomorrah, they were told, don't look back. No. No, don't look back. Look ahead. Learn from what's behind you. Know what's happening behind you. But don't look back. No. Curiosity killed the cat when Lot's wife looked back and turned into a pillar of salt. Now the interesting part about that is salt 
in the Bible usually speaks of things that are good. The problem with it is, for all the good that Job's wife, uh, Lot's wife had, for all the good that she had, all she did with it was turn into a pillar of salt. She built it all up. She didn't resolve anything. And by the time she looked back, listen to this viewers, when she looked back, by the time she decided to look back and go, what have I left behind me? All the opportunities that she had to resolve were pent up inside her. She didn't leave any salt behind. She didn't, she didn't have the resolve that she, she should have had as she went along. And she looked back with regret. She realized that there were things that she could have fixed. And all that resolve, all that capability that she had inside her, all the opportunities that she had to turn her life around and take it into a different direction, were just left idle, were just left to build up inside her. She never executed the solution. She never had the courage to execute the solutions that she had. She had the solutions. And when she looked back, all she could see was a mess. And because she had the, the knowledge and the wisdom to be able to fix those things and she didn't use it, it calcified inside her. And she became a pillar of salt. And Lot's wife turning into a pillar of salt reminds us all that we need to resolve things as we go. Or the unresolved inside us and around us and what it causes to us is an indication that we never used our know how to fix things. And we do look back with regret, we do look back with remorse, we do look back with disgust, but it's too late once the damage is done, it's done. For Lot's wife, that was the end for her. All the capability that that woman had, all the knowledge and wisdom and know-how that she had, all the compassion and empathy that she had, has turned her to a pillar of salt because she didn't use it. Look ahead, resolve as you go, and look back and see a clear pathway. This is Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Gosford, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Use your salt, do not build it up. Resolve things as you go, and bye for now.